Well, hi, Cubbies. Welcome to our first time at Awana Club. We're excited that you can be here with us. I want you to meet some special friends of mine. But first, let's sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. <clears throat> well, you can call Cubby from there while you watch the vidi video, but I'm going to count to three and we're going to call for Cubby. So ready? One, two, three. Cubby! Hi, boys and girls. I'm so excited to meet you. I can see you are excited. Can you stop jumping and hopping for a minute so I can ask you a question? Cubby Bear, we're going to talk about love today. Tell me something that you love. Love? Oh, I love apples. Red apples, green apples, golden apples. I also like honey and raspberries and well, anything that tastes sweet. But most of all, I love my best friend, Timothy. Timothy? Who's Timothy? Timothy is a boy who is in cubbies like you. I live with Timothy, Timothy on his family's apple farm. We have so much fun exploring together. Exploring? Where do you like to explore? Just today, we went down to the creek. Just today? Oh, <laughs> you did go down to the creek today? Uh... <laughs> you know, you and Timothy aren't supposed to go far from the house. I had to follow you and bring you back. Kids, meet my other friend, Katie Coley. Do you know what she loves? She loves to remind Timothy and me to obey the rules, but she only does it because she wants us to be safe. She's a good dog and very smart, too. It's nice to meet you, Katie Call it, Cubby. Are there any other friends we should meet? Of course. You still have to meet my friend, Lovey Lamb. Lovey. I wonder where Lovey is. Do you think Lovey is here somewhere? Do you see Lovey? I don't see. Oh. Where's Lovey at? Where's Lovey at? Lovey! Lovey, where are you? Lovey! Oh, oh, oh. there we are. Hi, Lovey, how are you? Lovey. Lovey Lamb loves to play silly games. What a fun time. <laughs> we met three new friends and we also found out about what they love. Cubby loves apples and his best friend Timothy. Katie Colley loves to keep Cubby and Timothy safe. And Lovey Lamb loves to play silly games. Wait, there's something else I want to say. As soon as I get to know the boys and girls and Cubbies this year, I'm going to love them all too. Yeah, me too. Yes, I'm sure you both will. And will you love you too, Cubby and Lovey Lamb? Right, boys and girls? Yep. Goodbye for now. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Well, we've been talking about love today so far with our puppets and the song we sang. Sometimes we say we love cookies. Do you like to eat cookies? And we love to play outside. But when people say they love you, it means something different. The people who love you care about you very much. They want to be with you and help you. There are some people who love you like cubbies. <clears throat> love you cubbies like your daddies and mommies. Do we have a picture? I think we could get our pictures. We do. Oh, good. We have our mommies and daddies on there, and they love you. Your grandparents love you too. I think there's some grandparents. They look like they have gray hair, don't they? They make that makes them look more like grandparents. <laughs> I bet you have friends in your neighborhood and your church. Friends like our cubbies, puppets, and Mrs. D'Amico, and I love you. Let's try to be friends to love each other. <clears throat> but guess what? There's someone who loves you even more than we love you. God loves you so much, 
more than anyone else could ever love you. God talks to us in a very special book called the Bible. Many of you have a Bible at your house. Maybe your Bible has pictures like this one. Bibles may look different, but all pictures have God's word inside. God tells us in the Bible, in 1 John 4.10, God loved us and sent his son. God loves each one so very much. He wants us to love him too. We can show that we love God when we obey and do what he says in the Bible. But guess what? Hmm. Do we have card number three? Uh, we don't always obey what God tells us in the Bible. Can you make a sad face? Mm, I think it's that. That kind of looked like a mad face, maybe. Cubbies, we have all said something mean to someone. When you say something mean, you are not obeying God. Cubbies, I bet you have done something your mom or dad told you not to do. Hmm. Maybe not pick up your toys? Or hmm, maybe not eat the food that they gave you? All of us disobey God, and this makes God sad. Can we frown again? Is it hard to frown? But I have good news. Now we can smile. Cubbies, God still loves us, even when we don't love and obey him. He showed his love when he sent his only son, Jesus, to live here on earth and be our Savior. Remember, 1 John 4.10 says... God loved us and sent his son. Should we say it again? 1 John 4.10 God loved us and sent his son. When Jesus lived on earth, he never disobeyed God. But remember, all of us have disobeyed God. We all have sinned. We should be punished for this. Being punished means getting in trouble for the wrong things we have done. But God loved us and sent Jesus to be punished instead of us. Jesus died on the cross for our sin. Then, three days later, he came alive again. Each of us must trust Jesus as our Savior. That means we believe that he died on the cross for our sin. And we trust Jesus that he paid the, the penalty. Let's see. Cubbies, can we learn and obey God by praying? Can we sing songs like Jesus loves me, helping someone, listening to our parents? God loves us and he helps us to love him too. Is there one more picture? I forget what's on yes, the last there picture. Yes, is. What's this one? Is this one? Oh, there they are. Reading. We can read our Bible and they can sing. And we also have some crafts that we can do that we're going to send home with you that, that you'll have in a packet that you can do at home after you listen to the video. And we're going to see what that are going to look like and how you can do it. I can hold something if that. Hi, Cubbies. This is going to be our craft that you guys get to do today or and you're all going to get a package like this and it's going to have all the different color hearts that you guys get to put together on your board and you get to put together however you want to and we'll be very excited to see what those are going to look like. So you need to take some pictures maybe and send mm, them to Mrs. Ostring so we can see what you've done. And then you're also going to have some worksheets that your mom and dads can help you with. I think there's like four or five of them. And they can help oh, learn that you verse. Get to draw some pictures. You get to learn your verse and you can do that by either using your, your finger to go through the maze, or you can find a little car if you have one and try that. And here's another one. And we're looking forward to seeing what you create. And I know, wonder if they could write the names of those who love them on some of these hearts besides that. That's God. a wonderful Let idea. Do that. All right. Well, Cubbies, we're glad you got to watch. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.